Okay, hi guys, it's Teresa Brainerd here, and uh, I want to say good morning, but man, did I get, the time got past me big time. Okay, guys, don't think I'm crazy. I am crazy, but don't think that, okay? So, I went out today, and I bought more dolls, but I did it for a purpose. I want to show you what I am talking about with random acts of kindness. So, I put my head together and just worked all weekend on trying to get this this what I want to show you I want to put a video together so that I can show you guys exactly the looks on people's faces and the happiness that you can bring to somebody so let me get to it this is probably gonna be a two-part video because it, there's so much that I've got to show you and I got to tell you I'm really excited I really am so let me show you the first thing that I got and what I'm going to do okay so this here I bought a whole box guys forgive me but I'm freezing I got to drink some coffee Freezing to death. It's okay. You can hear the, the heat going on. It just come on. Okay, so let me show you. I bought a whole box of these doll heads. There's a whole bunch of. Di they're all different. They're all different. I bought a whole bunch of different doll heads, so you can see. Okay. And I bought all of the the bodies to go with it. Okay. These are the bodies that go with it. Now, let me show you what I've done. This doll here cost me 50 cents. So that's for the body and for the head. Now, that doesn't include the, um, the stuffing. But I did have a coupon for Michael's today. And uh, it was $5 and I had a 40% off coupon. So, look at this. There's the body. There's the head. It cost me less than a dollar to make this whole doll. Okay, so what I'm going to do is gonna, I bought eight of these. These are all, there's eight of them. They're all brand new. They're all still in the uh, package. The bodies and stuff are all in the package and everything. And it cost me, it says 50 cents here, but since I bought them all, she just gave it to me for a quarter a piece. She gave me a quarter for this one, a quarter for this. So it's going to cost me 50 cents. No more than a dollar with the stuffing and stuff and the clothes. So that's awesome. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fix all of these up. And then when I'm done with them, I'll show you. After I dress them and, and fix them up, I'll show you what I'm going to do. I'm going to have a lady sew the bodies together. Um, the bodies already, here, let me show you. The bodies are already together except they have to be. Now these are probably going to go to small children because um, they don't have hair and stuff like that so they'll probably these type dolls will go to the smaller little those smaller children now what I need the lady to do at church she's already I talked to her last night and she's going to uh, sew this right here for me and so that I can put a zip tie in here and she'll sew it up after I stuff them all tonight so I got to get busy and I got to stuff all of these tonight and um, so she's gonna sew those so I don't have to do that oh bless her heart so I got that going on. So there's eight dolls right there to take care of for the random acts of kindness. Wait till you see them, guys. They're going to be beautiful. They really are. They're going to be so cute. Okay. And now all of these dolls here today that I'm going to show you right now are all going to be given out random acts of kindness here on the video. But I will show you. Here's little King David. There's little King David. Let's see. King David from the Bible, and here's his little, uh, I'll show you his little, here's his little sheet, and his little Bible thing that he has, and here's his card, so, um, and then here's another one, let's go this way, let's see, these, here's one here, okay, I'm going to try to get through all of this, but it's kind of hard. Now, she does need her hair fixed. But here's another one. Guys, I can't see because there's a glare in here. Maybe I should turn it off. But, okay, here's another one. This one still has the papers on her neck, but... Here's another one. There's one. Can you guys see these? She's 
really, this one's really darling too. It's so cute. Looks like a little angel, but it's a little fairy. There's one. And here's one. Now these are all porcelain dolls. All of these, even the these are. I think this one is. I think that one is. But these are all porcelain. Now let me set these back in here. I'm going to tell you exactly what I paid for them also. Okay? Now as you're looking at these, I'm going to go ahead and tell you what I paid for them. I paid $20 for all of them. For everything. I, I asked the lady to sell them to me as a lot. And she did. So, she sold them all of these dolls to me for $20. But let me, I'm not finished yet. I got, I've got more boxes to show you uh, of the dolls for the 20, for the $20. So, when I show you, hang on just one second. Let me put this box out of the way. I don't want them to get messed up because I want the children or whoever gets these to, to get them nicely and I made sure that they were all nice and neat okay so let me move this box put this one over here okay including this one this one had a regular price of forty dollars see including this one And this one. I don't know how much she was. Uh, I don't know how much it was, but there's two in there. There's that one. All of these dolls that I'm showing you from beginning to end cost me $20, except for the first two. The, the little King David and um, I bought that one and the, the little black one. Um, I bought those separately. Okay, so here's the next box. Like I said, all of these dolls here were $20 for the whole box, or all of the boxes, not just one box, but for all of them. You, see, you can see it still has papers and stuff on them. I have no idea why it's on there. She's really cool. Now, she's not porcelain. She is... Uh, I think she's plastic. And all the stands came with it. And I'll put this right here. I'm trying to hurry, guys. But I want to show you what, what's going to be done. So you guys can see these first before um, I give them all out. Warm up a little bit. Man, it was cold. Uh oh, this hat goes on somebody. Oh, it goes on this little girl right here. There we go. It's an Indian. See, I can barely see, so forgive me for walking up close, okay? You know what this is? This is a uh, um, dryer fabric dry uh, sheets. Fabric sheets smells good. It smells really good. Okay. And one more little bitty one. 
Okay, so all the ones that I just showed you cost me $20. I haven't counted them yet, so I don't know how many's in there, but there's quite a few of them. And uh, they're going to make some children and older ladies pretty happy, hopefully. Let me get all this back in here because I have some more things to show you. Like I said, all of these dolls, all of these porcelain dolls cost me $20. And I'm going to make a video of giving them out. Okay. Now, this is something I filmed this weekend, too. Um, and I, normally I don't pay $2 for a doll, but I wanted it because the, uh, as you can see, it has the little girl parts and stuff to it. And it's got a lot of detail to it. Hang on. I'll show you. I don't know why I just anything has lots of detail I don't care for the face um, that much but I do like the the arms and the legs and the belly and all of that I don't, I don't even know what it is it just says made in China but um I think that's original too but uh, let's put this back on here and I figured I would make some little silicones uh, little silicone dolls and when I get caught up maybe I could if I made the smaller ones I might be able to hand out a few more so we'll see as soon as I can call you just got to understand guys right now I'm, we're moving and we're in the middle of it and I just can't wait I'm gonna be so sad to lose my shop but I have a whole lot more now I also found this doll too this weekend see She's got jointed here. I found her this weekend. She cries when you lay her down. Well, she did. You can hear her cry. I don't know what she is. She says ideal, but she doesn't have a date. She says ideal VP23. I don't have my glasses on, but there she is. There's that doll. I found her this weekend. She had a wig on. But her hair looks very nice. So, I mean, I think that's her original hair. I mean, it wasn't cut or anything like that. But, anyway, there's that doll. I found that this week, this weekend. And I also found, um, not, guys, I'm not keeping any of this stuff. So, I will have to take it to my new house because I, there's no way to give it away in time. But, you know, Christmas is coming. So we've got a lot of work to do. And did you understand what I said? I said, we, we guys, we have a lot to do. So let me show you what else I found this weekend. And I paid a dollar a piece for these. These are so sweet. And the kids are going to love it. I got two of them. They actually walk and stuff. Can you see the puppets? can't hold it up tight I can't hold it up but it walks and stuff it's really cute and you can move the neck and I got the little red one here I got a little white one with a little blue face the kids will love these oh his bumper oh there we go turn around guys my baby's coming home today he's been hunting um, He's been hunting since Thursday. Normally, we never let our baby uh, miss school. But, isn't that cute? It's a puppet. I only paid a dollar a piece for them. So, there's going to be some happy little kids with this. Hopefully. Some of the kids might get scared of it, so you have to be kind of careful. So, we got that there. And I bought a box. I bought some matchbox cars for the little boys. 
and I bought a box. Um, it's it's a big box. It's a big box, um, and it has uh, boxes and boxes and boxes of um, of uh, cards of I don't know, Spurgeons. Um, I don't know if that's football, or baseball, or what, but. Um, I bought boxes and boxes of them. Baseball are they're like baseball card packages. Um, I bought a whole bunch of them. I mean, a whole bunch of them to give out to the little boys. And um, so I think that they'll like that. And I, I bought a bunch of little Matchbox cars, and then I bought some other uh, boy toys. I have some remote control cars and things like that too that I found, and I paid like fifty cents for the remote control cars, and they're still in the boxes. They have not been opened yet. So those will work out pretty good too. Now, um, one more thing. On, I always say that. I know, I know, I know. Um, another thing that I'm going to show you that I bought this weekend too. And I paid a dollar a piece for these. This, this little outfit. Isn't that sweet? It needs to be ironed and washed. See? Look at the back of it. I think it's a Feltman think it is okay and then I got this one here it might be I'm not sure okay and then look at this one isn't that darling let me back up so you can see it isn't that cute that's for a bigger baby I think that's for a three month old no it's from six to twelve pounds so it's a newborn baby size but you can see can you see it guys let's see if I can hold it up where you can see it's really sweet. Okay, so I got those for a dollar this weekend. And, oh my goodness, there's just so much stuff, guys. I can't explain to you how happy it makes me to be able to um, get this stuff, repair it, and I uh, hope you don't mind me drinking some coffee because you I'll never know if you mind or not because I'm, it sure keeps my hands warm. My hands are freezing. I'm cold. Whoa, what was that? I also bought diapers this weekend too, <laughs> but not, I bought, uh, I paid for the whole pack, um, here's, I paid a dollar for this pack of diapers, let me show you, no, wait, yeah, this is the pack, this is the bag, wait, I just bought a, I think this is one, if this ain't the one, I have a, I think this is it. What do I do with the other bag of stuff? Huh. Well, anyway, I buy diapers all the time at garage sales because you can see they have not been used. None of them have. Well, nobody would sell a dirty diaper anyway. But anyway, I was going to tell you all that. And um, I wish I could show you all this stuff, guys. I bought so much stuff, and um, my husband is so sweet. He never gripes about it. He He's just right along with me on this. And... Um, and the reason that he does this is because, um, well, first of all, he loves me, <laughs> and I love him. I'd do anything in the world for him. He'd do anything for me. We're, we are incredibly blessed to have each other. Um, now, I know this is going to be one very long video, but um, now there were some questions that you guys have asked me. Um, let's see. Um, a lot of you ask me how to uh, how do you paint the silicone doll? Okay, I'm going to tell you just like I told her. To, I think I said it before, but I'm not positive. But okay, what you do is you just take you buy the silicone paints from silicone only sticks to silicone, so you have to use the um, the paints uh, that they that they sell uh, that brick in the yard. Uh, sales. I'm sure there's another way to do it. Actually, there's a video out there that shows how to do it. Um, I'll, I'll put it up here um, another time. But there is a video that actually shows you step by step on how to paint the, the the dolls. It just tells you what to do. I have not went through it yet, and I haven't even painted my own dolls yet. Every time I, I make one or something, I never finish it because I just I get into something else and keep going and keep going and keep going and doing different things. Now I have not mailed out the. Um, the the uh, these things here you guys know what I mean these yet 
I, I, they have they have been spoken for, so they will be coming to the people, but I'm holding off until we get to the new house and I can get everything straightened out and set, because there is such a mess all over everything. We can barely move in the house right now. But when I do move in there, guys, you should see what I did yesterday. No, I'm sorry, not yesterday. Day before yesterday. I made the most fantastic potato chips. Now, I know I'm not supposed to be having these, but they are so good. So I'm going to show you how to do it. And I cooked them in my granny's pot, which was handed down from my granny to my mama and now to me. So I want to show you these potato chips are going, they are to die for. Now, don't tell my husband that because, you know, he can't have fried foods or anything. And I'm definitely not supposed to have them. Um, I had the surgery. Um, September the 29th, I had the lap band surgery. And um, I haven't lost enough, you know, enough as, as much as I want. But you know what? I'm taking it slow. I'm having fun with my life and we're just going about things our own way so my neighbors just looked in the window and they just saw me talking they probably think i'm crazy because i'm talking to the computer so um guys i think that's it um oh let me tell you one more thing that happened last night guys i found this i just i don't know where i just came up with this this thing god is just so good to me and allowing me to to come up with things that i mean he is the one that puts things together for us for my family but I went I had my husband go to the store for me and we went and we bought 500 pennies and then we bought I had a whole bunch in my piggy bank I love to save coins and stuff like that so I had so I had him go buy me 500 pennies well I got a phone call but before all that happened I got a phone call that um that the church the they needed me to watch the children and I did this for eight years, every single Friday, my husband and I. We have a program at our church, it's called RU, Reformers Unanimous. And what it is, it's for people who have addictions. And um, it could be any kind of addiction. It could be an addiction to dolls. <laughs> or it could be an addiction. Actually, the truth of the matter is, I don't care to have any but one or two dolls of my own. My mom's dolls, and I want a silicone doll. And then every other doll can go. I don't mind giving them away to people at all. But anyway, so I don't have an addiction to that. Some people would say I do because I have all those dolls to go that are in the stores. But God is so good. He just the, the more I give out, He just keeps bringing more and more and more, and and that allows me to give out more. So anyway, it looks like I have an addiction to dolls, and I do have an addiction, but it's not to dolls. Uh, my addiction is probably eating. I love to eat. And I love my coffee, but uh, Scotty, my husband, I, his name is Gary, but I call him Scotty. Um, he he would say that I have an addiction to talking. <laughs> As you can see, this video is getting pretty long. But let me tell you, finish telling you real quick what I did. So I had my husband go get all these pennies for me, and uh, I was trying my best to figure out how I'm gonna keep these kids, you know, entertained for a couple of hours. So after you, you know, teach them and talk to them and stuff about the Lord, then you, you play games and stuff with them and keep, get rid of some of the energy they have. So we have this great big foyer in our church. And uh, so I took all the kids in there and I took, well, I made sure that all of the pennies uh, were brand new pennies, all except for one Canadian penny. And so I took all of the pennies and I just threw all of the pennies all over the the whole foyer in the, the church, all over everywhere. And I only had eight children. Normally we have 22 kids or more. So, so I threw all these pennies everywhere, everywhere. And so I had all these kids hunting one penny. And so what I do is I take a bunch of little gifts and I, I give them a gift, whoever finds this penny. So, and then do you think that I'm going to clean up all them? I'm going to get on my hands and knees, clean up them pennies? I don't think so. So you give them another gift, you say, okay, so I had a whole bunch of baby bottles, and I handed each one of them a baby bottle, and I told them, I said, whoever can get the most pennies, uh, fill their, whoever fills their bottle up the, the, the most, who can whoever gets the most pennies, I will give them another small surprise. So I did that. 
but I made it really hard for them. I turned the lights out on them. <laughs> so they had to fill around for the pennies. So that kept them busy for quite a while. And um, But anyway, there's just all kinds of games and stuff that you can do with children. So hopefully I give you guys some, some ideas of what you can do at a baseball. I mean, um, a birthday party or something like that. Now, I, I don't know. God is just really good and allows you to do stuff like that. Um, now, there is some really... There is some really... Uh-oh. The evidence is in my pockets here. Look at that. Uh, there is some more games on the net that you can also look and see, too. So, um, now I will be picking at the uh, end of this month. I'm going to give away two dolls. I've already showed the dolls um, this week. So, guys, get your entries in. Um, we are going to do random acts of kindness. Uh, I'm going to show you exactly what I want. So we will, you know, you don't have to do it just yet. We are, we are going to do this, but I want to show you because a lot of people got confused the last time that I asked you. I haven't really been explaining how to do the random acts of kindness. So I want to actually show you what I want you to do so that we can, you know, and then, you know what, um, after we do that, I may just say, pick any doll in the shop. Well, my shop's not going to be here by the time, hopefully. We will be moved out. I don't know. I will be. Hopefully, we will be moved out by the end of the month. I'm not positive, but the 20. No wait. On the 12th is when we're supposed to be able to move in. But you never know. We've already did the expect the inspection and all that kind of stuff. But it takes. You know, it just takes forever. It seems like. But um, my husband and I have never been in. We've only been in this house, so it's kind of sad to leave it. But we're on to a new journey. And this is where me and him will retire and uh, together. Hopefully, my husband still works from 11 o'clock in the morning till 9 o'clock at night. So he puts in still a lot of hours. And, uh, and yeah, guys, probably that my son brings home a deer today. So he went bow hunting, not shooting one, but he went bow hunting. So I hope he brings home a deer. And um, we'll have some venison, and maybe I can show you guys some recipes. But um, I also, when I was younger, we ate squirrel and stuff. So I can show you how to make some good squirrel too. Some, but anyway, we're, we're getting all. I'm just getting off on. I'm just excited today because I found some really good deals. I'm really happy that you know got all these dolls. I can make a beautiful video, hopefully, um, on how to you know the random acts of kindness and and bring some joy to some more people. And I'm just thrilled to death that we can do that. So you guys start. Oh. You know what, guys? I also found um, some tall glasses. They're about this, and they're blue. And um, they're plastic. They're not glass. They're plastic. But they look like a wine glasses, beautiful wine glasses. And I paid a quarter a piece for them. And I found a big bag of marbles. So let me tell you what I did. This lady that I know, she was really sad. I'm not going to tell you who she is, but she was really sad. She just felt really bad. So I took the marbles, and I poured them in the, um, in the, the wine glass. And I bought, believe it or not, I found this dozen of fake roses um, at a garage sale. And I paid a dollar for the, the whole bunch of roses, the whole dozen. And I, I took one of the roses out and I put it in there. And then I filled it with little candies. You know, I put the marbles in the bottom of it, and all, almost all the way up to the top. And then I filled it and put candy all around the rose so that it would be, you know, real pretty. So she could eat, actually eat the candy and she can also have... You know something to look at to brighten her day so you can do little things like that too there's all kinds of things that you can do just use your heads guys you can make things that will just thrill people okay and if you can't get out and go garage selling or you can't do things like that I know you can write a card or you know things like that just anyway I'm rambling so I will talk to you guys later okay bye